For you, so you've been dreaming about this your girlfriend again. Eh? I don't know. Um, this is ridiculous. How can you be dreaming about someone that doesn't even know you exist? Well, I guess I'm in love with her. Oh, God. Look, look, we're talking about love. Come, you need money to love 
or to be loved, okay? Listen, I don't need money to make her love me, okay? Besides, her parents are rich. <laughs> and who's, who told you that the rich don't mind getting richer? And besides, she definitely wants someone to pay her bills. Are you ready for such expenses now? Hmm? Okay, how much do you have there? Hundred naira. Me cool. So, you want to tell me with hundred naira you can ask a lady out? I don't understand what I do. Forget it. What's wrong with you? Look. Okay, see, I'm, I'm really hungry now, okay? Let's just take this your 100 naira. We make we go take, buy beans and Gary. Make we smoke now, eh? Come on, collect it now. It's, it's not only Gary. Amala, won't you eat Amala? Ah, what's it going to worry you now? I beg, John, let me out. Give me the money. What rubbish. What's wrong with you now? Come, come, come. Make we just, make we go sit down my bed now, eh? I'm sure she will fix you up with somebody. See, yeah. This one is my last one. Let's last go. One. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's my last So, Chichi, um, the last time I called you, you weren't sounding fine. What happened to you? I'm not saying you. I told you I'm not saying you. Uh-uh. You can't say that. Hmm? Don't worry. I promise. When necessary, we're going to go out. I'm going to choose you. Okay? It's a lovely place to have here. Sorry, man. I, I, I was lost. <laughs> I bet you did. So you've been hallucinating over that girl again, isn't it? Yeah, you know now. You know. Ah, ah, what for you, Zeph? Look, tell me something. That girl must be an angel for you to have lost after her this much. Listen, I love that girl so much. You don't understand? I love her. Hey, ah, then why don't you let her know the, the way you feel about her before someone else gets lucky? I see. I no, the thing is that each, each time I get close to her, you know, I, I get so, short of words. I mean, leave her go just feel your man. <laughs> Look who is talking. Come. Anyway, it's one of those things. So when does you intend making the next move? You mean meeting her again? Of course. Don't you want to try again? Well, I, I don't know. What, what, what do you think? Okay, left for me. I will tell you. Go after her. Do whatever you want to do and let her be, okay? Come on, let's get out of here, eh? <laughs> you guys, eh? Don't worry. This is what I want to do. Excuse me. 
Oh, good day. Yeah, good day. Uh, uh, I'm kind of new around here. Um, uh, I've lost my way. Please, could you direct me? Where exactly are you going to? Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to Cold Street. Oh, Cold Street is not far from here. It's about a few blocks away from okay. here. Okay. Just go straight down and the next turning by your right, okay? Uh, all right, all right. Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. I, I, I I want to tell you you're, you're, you're very very beautiful. Thanks. I'm flattered. Oh, okay. I, uh, I'll be on my way now. very very frank with you i am not satisfied at the way you and your men are handling this investigations concerning this 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 berserk arm robbers i am not yes sir i must be frank though we are doing everything possible to you me. are doing everything possible but your best is just not good enough do you realize what this whole thing means inspector sami sir do you realize that the commissioner of police personally wants these criminals himself? The last time this arm robbers talk, they killed the owner of a five-star hotel and made away with one million naira. One whole million naira. And this time around, it is the commissioner of police's vehicle that had been snatched at gunpoint and his driver murdered in cold blood. Inspector Sani, sir, I am giving you the next 48 hours. 48 hours is all I am giving you! Yes, sir. Otherwise, consider yourself jobless. Do you understand everything I just said? Yes, sir. That's very good. Uh, I told her she was beautiful and she appreciated it. Come, you be real, Mumu. M U M U. That is what you are. Uh, so after telling her she's beautiful, you just left, just like that. Uh, I became speechless. I didn't know what else oh. to say. <laughs> oh God! So all those your tick tick lines when you don't rehearse, since just waka come up for your head. Oh, but I don't tire for you. Eh? What in now? Can I? Can I? That's the girl. Who? Hey, the, the girl I, 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 I'm telling you about now, you know, my, my girlfriend to be. Are you sure she's the one? Yes, now. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, okay. Shield, this is what we're going to do, okay? Um, comport yourself, okay? Um, we're going to just walk up to her, okay? And um, offer a helping hand. It, it seems she has a flat tire. I hope she doesn't mind. Let's, let's go. Okay. Huh? Having problem with your tire? Yes, I have a flat tire. I guess I stepped over a sharp object or something. I don't know. Oh, I see. I guess we are God sent to help you fix this tire. Um, my name is Ikenna, Chemical Engineering Final Year Unilag, and this is my friend Mike. Same class with me. Nice to meet you. I'm Peng. Same here. Um, so I don't know. I just um just stopped up kind of. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Thank you. Thank you so
um, I guess this is the final note, so you can roll now. Uh, thank you so very much. Um, I don't know, how am I going to pay you guys back? Oh, it's nothing really. Let's just say all for friendship. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe I should give you guys a lift to where you're going. Uh, no, 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 that would be necessary now. Um, why don't we do it this way? We, we'll give you a call and uh, we'll come over to your place or something and take you out. Uh, I'm sorry, that would be possible. I mean, I barely know you guys. Oh, okay, let's do it this way. Um, I'm gonna... We'll, we'll give you a call, okay? Zero eight zero. Can I have your numbers? Okay. Zero eight zero. Okay, one after the other, please. Who goes first? Okay, Mike. Zero eight zero. Three three zero. Zero six five five one. Your name is what? Mike. Yes, mine is zero eight zero. Three seven four one five triple seven. Okay, your name? Kenna. All right. Okay, I What do you mean by we? Come on. Oh, we both work this thing together. Don't let it sound as if I'm getting greedy. Come on. It's alright. Okay. Mm. This is step one now. So. so so what's step two? Are you asking? Of course, give her a call. Or what do you think? Um, okay, I'll, I'll call her as soon as I get to you. Okay, right so. Still, I don't like the way you took an address number to delete it to delete it to. And because I know you, you like make me want to say this is good for you. I'll be sure you go give me my money, Shah. Okay, you be my guy, I'll go give you one. I know you don't go pass two days, though. No, I know they pay you. You don't go pass two days, though. No, but I'll give you Okay. And when you don't go give me the money, now you go sweat now. Okay, you don't need to buy this. So did you get the card? Uh, I collected it on credit. I, I don't know what to tell how. Give it to me. Let me put it on my phone. Hello, Peggy. Oh, you can not hi. Oh, I'm fine. What's up? Nothing much. Just called to say hello. Oh, that's so nice of you. That's so nice of you. I'm so how is your friend? Oh, Mike, he's fine. He's right here with me. I actually want to speak to you. Oh, okay. Hello, Peggy. Hi, Mike. Uh, yes, yes, this, this is Mike. So what's up? I, 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 I'm fine. I, I'm fine. Mike? Uh, um, uh, uh, I, I, Peggy, I'd, I'd like to... I, I mean, Iken, Iken and I would like to, you know, take... Hello? Sorry, um, I think the line is breaking. It's, it's a network problem, okay? Mike? No, no, no. This is Iken now. Okay, now. Um, you see, what Mike was actually trying to say is give you the chance to go out on a date with us, okay? Oh God, you guys don't give up, do you? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, um, where can we meet? Um, what? Okay, what about tomorrow? Say 12 noon. Hmm, I guess I'll be fine. So where? Um, I think what we do is um, we'll get to your place before then. Then when we get to the gate, we'll give you a flash. Oh, same here. Bye. Tomorrow then. Alright, I'll do just that. Bye. 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 So half a half a what did she say? What did she say? Uh -huh. What did she say now? What do you expect her to say? She has nothing to say. Then to her set. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? It's me. Rookie. It's me. You didn't tell me, you didn't call me before coming. And why should I call before coming to my boyfriend's place? Or do I not need a pass to get in? Excuse me. you for the last time. If you dare touch me, dad your hands once more. I should warn you. You do what? Wait, wait, wait. You do what? What will you do? I will just taught you a lesson that you can never forget in your whole dead in life, baby. Mm, yes. It's okay. So do your worst. Can you? How can you let this to fight each other? Do please, please, just me. let them be. See. How would I not the one that lost me more? Here, money is speaking. Okay? So let them be. This is okay? crazy, man. Kiddo, they are going to kill each other. So? And look here, you two. I don't care whatever you do to yourselves. None of you on me. I have every right to date as many women as I want. So you start getting used to it now. Okay? Oh, Susie! Woo! My baby, where have you been? Baby, I've missed you so much. Wow. Wow. Oh. Seeing you again? <laughs> well, that will depend on you guys. Well, I guess we have to pay your visit at your place. Oh, no, no, no. Look, my parents don't welcome male visitors in my house. Is that right? Especially my dad. I mean, he will strangle me before I said about you guys. Okay, why, why don't you do this way? Why don't you come over to our place? I, I'm sure you'll be very comfortable that way. Oh, yes. Um, why don't you come down to our place? Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, 
Come on, Peggy. We really like to have you around. Don't you think so, Mike? Yes. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but I don't know where you guys stay. I mean, I don't have your address. Okay, okay, now. Okay, I'll give you the address. See you guys then. Take care. Alright, then. Bye. See you again. Bye. Bye. See you again. With you, she only struck your face with her finger. Don't you get the message? She likes me. Oh, me. wait, wait, wait. Come, come, let me tell you that. Wait. Man, that girl is hot. And I'm getting to like her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's the meaning of that now? Come on, Mike. I'm just pulling your leg. Please, 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 please. Don't just play with such things with me. Please, please. You better be. Alright, alright. Come on, let's go. Miko, <laughs> Miko. Me Is anything wrong, Peggy? Peggy! Mom, um... Is anything wrong? No, I... I was only lost in thought, but I'm okay. And what are you thinking about, if I may ask? Nothing. Really. Are you sure? Mom, I'm positive. Have you been seeing someone lately? Um, I, I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand. Now, listen, young woman. I will make it clear to you. You now have a boyfriend, right? I... I don't. I hope your mood does not have anything to do with any man. I shall not tolerate any indiscipline in my house. Is that clear? Peggy! Peggy, come back here! Hey, I'm talk to her. No, 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 not only talking to her. Warn her! Peggy! Peggy! What is wrong with you? Now I demand you go in and apologize to your father. Mom, Dad should know that I am 23 and I deserve to be in a relationship but he wouldn't let me. He pries into my private life at will. My friends don't come visit him and I dare not go to visit them. Darling, your father wants the best for Oh Mom, but not with the way he's going. Dad doesn't want to see me with any male friend. But I'm sure all he's doing is for your own good. Mom, you don't seem to understand me. You don't. Mommy, look, I need a man. I need to secure a man that will truly love and cherish me. But darling, I'm sure you'll find one when the time is right. When? When, Mom? Is it when all my friends are happily married and settled? That I'll, I'll start my own set of love? Thank you, darling. I know how you feel. Truly, I do. But darling, every father wants to protect his daughter from bad and wrong company. You know young men of nowadays. They can be cunning and unpredictable. How will I know that when I haven't even met one? Hmm. I remember during my days. It wasn't that easy. I thank God I was able to find 
a loving man as your father. I almost lost hope of ever finding a man that would truly love me. But darling, tell me, do you have any man in mind that you really like? I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? I happen to meet these two friends. They both study um, chemical engineering in their final years. <laughs> That's interesting. So are you dating two friends? No. But they all seem to like me anyway. And you? I like them too. You see, that's the problem. I'm just, I'm just so confused. I'm getting attracted to two friends at the same time. Oh, gosh. Has any one of them made his intentions known to you? No, not yet. <sighs> Describe their character to me. Mike, um, Mike seems to be a very shy type. He talks less. He hardly looks into my eyes. And he can now uh, is more of a freer person. You know, he's also confident of himself. <laughs> it's a hard one. But honey, not to worry. I want to advise that you wait and let nature take its natural course, okay? The right one would definitely make his intentions known to you. So don't worry. So just Please. take it easy. But you must be careful. Your father mustn't find out, at least not now. Thanks. So you have to apologize to your father now. Okay, darling, let's go. So we need to change the large sum of dollars. Okay, come on, we change. No problem. If you even want change some plenty, let's have for plenty, plenty for that. Go, Lee. Like I said before. This is my friend. Just came back from America. America, go go away. Keep a guy, welcome. As a matter of fact, I want to change about 20,000 US dollars. 20 New Year dollars. Keep in hand that shit. Okay, I don't tell you before. I say no problem. Go. I get up for plenty. Plenty for Nana. Well, I get up for this one. Go. Dollars, let me take. I get up for plenty dollars. Plenty, no problem. Yeah, go change up. Freeze, I'm okay. I'm okay. Shit. Don't die. Shut up, Tucker! Don't tell me. Every cash you have here right now! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm
day, ma. Good day. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, is Ikena at home? Um, yes, he's at home. I just saw him some minutes ago. Go right. check him. He's at home. Thank you very much. Ready for it. Don't tell me you're a virgin. If I told you, would you believe me? Okay. Okay. It's alright. Whatever. Are you mad at me? Does it look as if I am? I'm very sorry, okay? Okay. It's alright. That's nothing, okay? As long as you promise to stand by me, okay? What you said to me. Of course I do. With all my heart. Hmm? I want you and your team to mount a checkpoint at every corner in this town. Understand? Yes, sir. And you, I want every last detail gotten on those criminals on my table in the next 30 minutes. Yes, sir. Sir. Sir, what just came in? The arrival at the right now, sir. Is that so? Yes, sir. And what are you waiting? Get moving! Yes, sir. Sir, excuse me. I want you to radio the patrol team to meet us at the robbery scene. Okay, sir. Go and put some ammunition in my car. I'm coming with you right now. Yes, sir. Now, get moving! One, one, two, over. Where am I? Why about a friend came? Never you. Do you understand me? 
Never you ask me of again. Is it not your friend? I said don't ask me about him again. I will need you. Mike. Mike, why are you not eating your food? Talk to me and your mother. Nothing more, I'm fine. For the past two weeks, you have been like this. And you want me to believe there is nothing wrong? Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, my dear. He has not been eating. He hardly even sleep at night. You don't mean it. Mike! Mike! Don't kill me. The way you are going, I'm afraid. Please! Please get the door. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sick now. Just take my hand. Hello. Good evening, ma. Oh, good evening, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. And please, is Mike in? No, we went out some minutes ago. That's funny. But. Anyway, please let him know I accept him, okay? And you should please check me at my place when he comes back. Okay, I will. Alright, thank you very much. Mike, what is the meaning of this? There's nothing, Mom. I just don't feel like seeing him. Then why are you avoiding your friend? I said I just don't want to see him. How long has he been going on? Mommy, it's up to two weeks now. You don't mean it. Listen to me, my son. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. I don't want you to have any quarrel with your friend. Do you hear me? Mom, he's not my friend anymore. He is not my friend anymore. He's a traitor, he's a backstabber. And he, he, he denied me my love. Oh, so this is all about a woman. Listen to me, young man. If you kill yourself for a woman, 1,004 will pass you by. What is the need? Why not try to make it up with your friend and forget the woman? See, you have been warning you in this house. I've been warning you. One day I'm going to wound you. No, I won't. I should wound you. Yes. It's okay. I should wound you. So tell me, how promising is this young man? Well, he loves me. I mean, he practically sings it to my hearing each time I see him. Really? And what about the other young man? Um, yes, Mike. I don't know. But Mike doesn't seem too happy with our relationship. Why? Is he jealous or something? I guess so. Mommy, each time I look into his eyes, I see love, sincerity, honesty. I really don't know. I'm a bit confused, I guess. Tell me, is it as if you're taking a wrong decision over choice of man? Honestly, Mom, I feel, you know, I feel like, Mom, I know he likes me very much. I know he loves me. But you see, his friend Ikenna had already asked me out first. Hmm. I guess I was just being too hasty and too desperate in my decisions. Oh, come on, Peggy, don't talk like that. Besides, Ikenna hasn't turned out to be a bad fellow, has he? No. Then you don't have to feel regrets at all. Now, tell me. Tell me about Ikenna. Is he okay? I mean, can he really take care of you? 
I guess so. I don't know what you mean anyway. Well, I need to know the kind of hands my baby has fallen into. You know. So, does he have all the qualities a woman needs in a man? Well, he... He's handsome and he's promising, if that's what you mean. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, those are some of it. But, the basic a woman really needs to know is if her man is honest. And has he got security and power? Mom, you know he's still in school. He's still a student. And besides, he comes from a very poor background. But I believe all that will come when he comes out of school. I mean, when he's able to get himself a good job. But mommy, right now, all that matters is love. Okay? Honey, I know how you feel. Honestly, I do. Anyway, getting a good job for himself will not be your problem if he's really honest with you. You are only child. You're my angel. And I'm sure your father and I will do everything possible to make sure he gets the best job in town. So you don't have to worry. Okay? Thanks so much, Mom. You're right. Um, but your father mustn't find out until it's time. Thanks. <laughs> he won't find out. Thanks, Mom. It's all right, darling. Mom, please, darling. Please. Can I please take some provisions for him from the store? Please. Peggy, it's all right. After all, we have enough to last us for one year. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. But make sure your father doesn't find out about it. He won't find out. Else he will skin us alive. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Mom. This. Why this boning now? Oh, please, 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 just cut the pretense. You think I don't know? No what? What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. How could you be so callous? How could you? Oh, my God. I, I still don't understand. You don't understand what? I saw you kissing Peggy at your place two weeks ago, and you call yourself my friend? You're nothing but a traitor, a backstabber, that's what you are. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, okay, if that's what you're talking about. But. The, beside the girl in question is not even your girlfriend. So that gives me equal right as you to have her. We're just playing. You're not fighting? Yes, we're just playing. Mike? Yes, um, we're only playing. We're only playing. We're playing. <laughs> we're just playing. Well, I hope so. So, Peggy, what are you doing here? I went to check on you at your place and I was told you came over to your friend's place, so I decided to come see you guys. Oh, I see. So, what's up? Nothing much. I just wanted to take you guys to some cool and quiet place. I don't know if you mind. Sure. <laughs> Anything for my dog. Mm. So, did you come in your car? Yeah, I did. Um, do you mind if I drive? Of course, yes. Okay. Um, Mike, would you like to come with us? Uh, I, I... Oh, don't worry. Mike is very busy now. I don't think he's going to come with us. Come Maybe on, well, why don't you want him to speak for himself? Mike, are you coming? I, I, I'd love to, you know, Look, but... I um, insist. Please, you really have to go with this. Come on, you have fun. Come on, let's go. Let's go.
Who told me you're leaving? I have to leave. It's getting late. But you can't just go like that now. Why, if I may ask? Oh, come on, Peggy. By now you ought to have known that I love you. Hey, look. Don't you think I deserve to feel you? I mean, feel you inside. If you're talking about sex, I am not ready for it. Come on, Peggy. Look, I want to marry you, okay? And I need to feel you. Know, I need to feel you. Oh, yes, I understand. You want to marry me, you love me. Then let's wait for the right time. Oh, God. And when is the right time, if I may ask? When we get married. On our honeymoon. Come on, Peggy. You can't be serious. Well, I'm dead serious. Oh, by the way, where is Mike? I haven't seen him lately. Mike? Uh, we still see. At least he was here yesterday. Are you sure you guys are not quarreling or something? Oh, come on. We are adults now. We can't quarrel. Nothing. Okay, I hope so. I have to leave, man. It's really getting late. Has he started talking? He seems to be very, very stubborn. He didn't want to cooperate. No information? No information at all. <laughs> what did he say is the name of his gang leader? He didn't say anything. Me and my first time when I go rob with this. Oh God, I beg. You don't want to talk. Hmm? By the time I finish breaking your bones, eh? You go tell us where those people are. Oh God, I beg. I don't know them. Now the truth when they say so now I tell you. I don't know. Shut them. up! Now look, young man. If you know what is good for you, you better cooperate. Are you listening to me? Okay, Inspector, I beg. Now take him away. Okay, Inspector. Move! Yeah! Okay, I beg. Help me. Move! Yeah! Move! Yeah! I think we have to do something first. I think I know what to do. Could you please help me tell IK? It's okay. I'll do just that. Okay. Just, just, just take it easy. All right. Take it easy. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. Okay. Just take it easy. I'll do that. All right. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Miss. I'm not tired to this down for you. Go here tonight. I think I'm comfortable. Man, let's just get something and get the hell out of here. This make could just waste more. Huh? Something free happen. Make could just waste more. Huh? I don't tired to this down here. Oh.
What are you doing? I'm trying to find out what's in this briefcase. Okay. Why not use my knife? What is it? What is in the box? box. Dollars! Hundreds of dollars! Still what? Like hundreds! Do you mean it? How knows I do? Hey, see for yourself. What? Serious <laughs> 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 no shout out for the dollars! Woo! I can't believe this! We've done it! Yes, yeah. sir! <laughs> 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 Oh boy! Because I want Boso. See police checkpoint for front. Man, I hate to see these people block my way. Let's not put our way through. Hey, no, 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 no. I mean, relax. Most of these kids in the gun battle with the police, if time will come across them. So, what are you suggesting? Allow them to have their way with us? Of course not! Okay, look. Let's just find somewhere to hide our money and our guns. And then later we'll come back for it when the coast is clear. Or what do you think? Because Why don't you be the one to knock now? Why should, why, why should I knock? Why should I be the one to knock? Look, if you're not ready to see her, please let's just go. Ah, why is your bone now? Ah, okay, let me knock. Let me knock. Uh-huh. 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 Who are you looking for? We are here to see Peggy. For what? And 
we happen to be in the same class with her in school and for some time now we've not seen her so we decided to check on her. Both of you, if you know what is good for you, better leave. If my Oga catch you, he go carry two of you, put inside prison. Now hear me soon, so we could have better leave or we want to put aside for my Gary. No, but we are Peggy's friends now and we, are, we just came to know if she's well or not. So you know they hear me? At least her father should be, you know, reasonable enough to understand our plight now. Fine. So now Dutch, are they speak on another language? Eh? Okay. Oh yeah, come in. Can't you hear the man's warning? What's wrong with you? It's cool. I don't see Sena, Chris, now they worry you. Or you eat wind to join the Chris. Eh? Before I open this my eyes, they close the other one. Maybe say you don't zap. Come on here before I come out of Ghana. now. Kasali. Kasali. So! I was hearing your voice. Uh, what uh, is happening here? Two men. Uh, these two young men, did they pass? And I, they come, they ask for address. I thought they show them. Is that right, young man? Um, yes, sir. Um, we actually looking for a place, so we lost our way. We decided to ask the man. Uh, no, sir. Actually, sir, uh, we are Peggy's classmates, and we've not seen her for some time in school. So we decided to, you know, co come and check out how she's faring. You know, to see if she's well or not, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So, which of you is my daughter's friend? Both of you? Uh, yes, sir. He's the friend. I just accompanied him here. I see. Is that right? I see. What? Uh, that's all right. I love courageous young men like you. I am sure my daughter will be very happy to see you. Why don't you come in? Come in. Uh, Kasali, as soon so, as we enter, you lock the gate, okay? So, let's go. Here. 
Come, come on, Peggy. We really do that. So we should feel at home. Oh, come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. You have to give right now. Just, just, just go, just go. You, you don't have to give me now, please. You're going to put me into trouble. Where are those what? Where are those what? Where? 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 Skip Teto. Oh, we can say that again. Man, that man has show. Oh. Yeah, now you want marrying daughter. What's he? He's just trying to protect her. From, from people like you, of course. What is that supposed to mean now? Eh? With the man would have the man would have found that the dog was stupid as I'm not pleased with that. See your life. He's sick of this flashy. What's this? What? Have you heard anything of it? It's a briefcase. Oh. Someone must have buried it here. Come, what do you expect to see inside of this thing now? Even not for documents and papers. Leave this thing, let's go now. Whatever it is that is inside here must be very important. I can't wait to see. We'll see. Okay, sit yourself. Ah! My God! What? What is it? Ewo! Dollars! It's the real thing! You can, you can, you can let, let, let's get out of here. Or let, let's go. What's wrong with you now? How do you expect us to leave and leave this thing here? This money is nothing but trouble. No? Let's just go. Let's leave it and let's oh. go. Come, when will you stop this your stupid attitude and be reasonable for once? What's wrong with you? How do you expect us to leave this kind of thing here? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's leave this thing, let's go. Get uh, Come, let's get out from here. Let's get out from here before somebody sees us. Come, let's go. I'm off. This money, let's just return it. Look, you, 
you must be more than childish. How, how can you be thinking like this? Eh? After all we've gone through in life, after all these years of poverty, suffering, humiliation, oppression, and you want us to return this money? You must be out of your senses. See, this money will bring us nothing but trouble. Let's just return it. Said my own. Did I hear you right? Look, let me tell you. Even if it's losing my life over this money, then let it be, okay? The briefcase is gone. Are you sure this is where you buried it? Sure, this is where we buried it. Damn! What is it? Someone has been here. For the break in transmission. This is the news in brief. A robbery incident has been reported at our station. The robbery took place some few kilometers away from the international airport. The robbers involved three unknown gunmen who attacked one Mr. Roland Price, an American businessman visiting Nigeria for the first time, snatching his briefcase at one point. Mr. Roland Price was attacked just after he left the airport to his hotel suit. On speaking to Mr. Roland Price, he told our correspondent that he was on a business visit to Nigeria as regarded by his company to come and invest in our economy. The briefcase contains the sum of $300,000 and a briefcase which contains some vital information which is of great importance to his company. He urged and promised to pay this a handsome reward of $500,000 to anyone that has any information or find the disc. I, 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 I think we just have to return this money to the police. So. The police? Yes, now. Did I hear you right? The police? Oh, God. Did you hear what you just said? Look, man, you just dug your own grave. How, how, how do you mean now? Oh, $300,000 is a lot of money. Enough to drive anyone crazy. Look, you take such money to the police, you are dead. They simply kill you and keep the money to themselves. Okay, let, let's keep the money and let's return the diskettes now. Oh, for God's sake, try to be rational for once. Eh? Giving up the diskette means handling ourselves over to the police. And you don't want me to spell the implications to you again. But we can do the poor man a lot of good, you know, by, by returning the discus. It was very important. Did you hear yourself? Look, hell knows that the dicks is damn important to that man. Okay? Look, did you hear the reward tag to that discus? That makes it more important. So, so what are you saying now? All I'm saying is this, okay? If the discount worth half a million dollars as reward. Then be rest assured we are keeping the money until we find out what is in it. Every detail, okay? Who knows? It might worth billions of dollars. You can, I can assure you we're not going to get far, okay? We're not going to get far with that discount. Even then, you still know that it would be very difficult for us to change all the money in our possession at once now. Oh, yes. That brings us to the point of thinking. Now listen to me. This is what you're going to do. We run a check on the dates. Find out what's in it, okay? I'll keep the money. And we lay low for a while. When everything about the stolen briefcase has chilled, hmm? then we change the money and start our own business. Eh? Don't you, or better still, we get out from this country. Or don't you want to leave? Come on. All right, all right. Okay, that's okay. But remember, 
Not even a word about it to anybody. Not even your mother. Okay. No, that's more like it. Come, let's just go and visit some girlfriends around, okay? you guys realize how much we've just lost? Do you? The report on the news says it's $300,000 in that briefcase and the discount worth half a million as reward. Can you believe that shit? And we lost an asset worth $800,000 just because of your stupidity. Hey, you make it sound like it's anybody's fault. You damn well know we are not safe at the police checkpoint. And we all thought it's better to hide the money than to get in a gun battle with the police. Or must we always go into war with them each time we come across them? Oh, please shut up! Now today without the war with them, you damn well know that we could have shot our way through those policemen, knowing the money is safe with us. And you know it! Are you saying it's my fault that you the money... You damn well know it's your fault! You not dig well enough to save the briefcase. Oh, really? Now look here, Jazzy. If you don't have any reasonable thing to say, I suggest you shut your dirty sticky mouth before I shove them up your ass! Now me, you don't follow talk that one. Uh, what do you keep do? Yeah, you do nothing! Stop. Stop both of you! Are you guys nuts? Instead of thinking what best to do, you are here picking on yourselves! Damn! I can't believe this! I'm sorry, kiddo. You better be. Now listen to me, both of you. I want you guys to start sniffing around town. Okay? We all will go back to that same place we buried that briefcase. See what we, any useful information we can get. Find out anybody that comes around the land in any way. Just see how we can get the information. Okay? This Ashley guy is not coming with me. Oh. And who wants to go with a daft like you? What? You call me a daft? You We've had enough for one day. But if you guys want more, believe me, I'll bleed you guys nice and quiet. Okay? Now get into this guy, let's get out of here. Get in, let's get out of here. Thank you. Um, please, uh, I've been to Ikena's apartment and I'm not seeing him. I mean, the whole place is empty. What's going on? Oh, Ikena. Ikena is no longer there. He has moved out. I heard he moved to VGC, so I don't know. He's no longer there. He has moved out. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. 
Just wear and it's all about money. Oh, honey, you um, remember you promised to take me for honeymoon? Oh, I've not forgotten. I'm going to do that. I'll take it to America, okay? America? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you? Um, I'm maybe I'm going to take you to France. Oh, baby, what about me? Um, I'm going to take you to the moon. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, I'm going to take you to the moon. The party's oh. over, everybody got to go now. Mm -hmm. The party's over. I said, everybody go. I said, get out. Mm. You can excuse me. Okay? Oh, baby, you said you're going to have a nice time. But don't worry, I'll be back. Are you sure you're going to be back? Yes. Don't worry. Why are these people now? Why are all these girls? Oh, what's the meaning of this? Oh, what's, what's the meaning of this now? Like, what's gotten into you? What? What's wrong with you now? Shout on me anytime. Don't even try it, okay? I've got the right to do whatever I want to do with my life. And if you're not pleased with it, drop into the lagoon, okay? You know so damn well that. what I'm talking about. When you go around flirting with girls, you're, you're going around painting the town red. I went to your house and they told me you now live in a duplex. Yes. Okay. We are going to lay low. So what's wrong with you? What has gotten into you? Look, you heard me. I said drop into the lagoon if you're not pleased with the way I live my life. What? And, and for goodness sake, come, this is my life, okay? What, what's wrong with you? This is my life and I have the right to do whatever I want to do with it. What's wrong with you? You're not being reasonable. You're not acting reasonably right now. Okay, tell me, how do you explain all this? How do you explain this lifestyle? How do you, how do you explain the cars I saw, I saw outside? I mean, what's wrong with you? We are going to lay low. No, look, I owe nobody any apology. No explanation to anybody, okay? It's my money. Excuse me, it's my money too, okay? And just because you keep the money doesn't give you the right to spend it extravagantly. Listen, the police are out, okay? They are sniffing out for every information they could get. And if they get you, you go down. And if you go down, I go down. So you better keep a low profile, okay? Let's keep a low profile. Hey, okay. I've heard you, okay? I'm going to control it, okay? Oh. Don't just try. Do it. I'll do just that, okay? Excuse me. Come out, girl. I'm special. I want those criminals arrested within the shortest possible time. Shit, shit. The commissioner of police is breathing down my neck. So I don't want to brought the book. Good. That sounds really very good. I appreciate your enthusiasm, all right? Yes, sir. One last bit of advice. I. I would like you to arrest anybody you see or suspect to be flowing in foreign currency. Yes. Because it may just um, be our prime suspects. Good. Now step on it. I'll be on my way, sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. Inspector Sani. Yes, sir. Inspector Sani. Sir. I want you to know that you are one of my finest officers, okay? Yes, sir. Please, don't let me down. S sir, this time we are coming with a positive result. That's very good. Thank you, sir.
Hello? Hello? Mike? Yeah, it's, it's me, Peggy. Peggy, what's up? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Mike, I don't know. It's, it's Ike. What's wrong with Ike now? I don't understand him anymore these days. I mean, his ways baffle me. He, Ike now is not a rich man. He just suddenly became rich. Oh, really? I mean, he is now living large. Uh, how do you mean? Yes. In fact, he even got himself a new car. Look, I'm so worried and I'm beginning to get really uncomfortable with this sudden wealth of his. Uh, I, I see. Look, I'm worried. Do you know if he's into any kind of shady deals or something? Uh, 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 it's, it's okay. Um, there's there's not, nothing I know of, okay? It's nothing I know of, but as soon as I get hold of any information, I'll, I'll call you. Please just try and do it for me, please. Alright then. Um, and one more thing, Peggy. Please don't discuss this with no one. Okay, I won't, but please, you really have to do this for me, okay? Alright. See you later. Talk to you later. So, my year will for lost our do. Our hot pepper. I please see that too. Hi! But we'll punish that gang, we'll catch you. Just wait and see now. Tell her the tree with this now. Uh, no, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's pack. My pack, my pack. You? Good day. I'm Inspector Joshua from ARD. We are not doing anything. Hey, relax, man, relax. There's really nothing to panic about. We just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, tell us about the people that came around this neighborhood on Monday. I don't see anybody. I don't even hear. Are you sure? Yeah. What about visitors? strange faces, I mean, people you are not familiar with. <laughs> Organo they like entertain any visitors at all. Even familiar faces, even Organo they... Yes! Sorry. He gets two young Tringon boys. We come on Monday, did they look for a girl, daughter, Becky? Oh, those boys. Those boys are bad. Sorry, what makes you say that? If I tell you what those boys do to me, those boys, they go inside. Did they look for a girl, daughter? Or God just push them, come outside. When or God push them, reach outside. Or God even bring the gun out, self. Or God push them with the gun. I one of the boys just blew my eyes. I just fall for grand. And I run away. Um, do you happen to know where they came from and where they ran through when your when the guy happened to chase you? Like I told you, when he blew my eyes, I just fall for grand. And the guy go. Okay, I see. Yeah. What about your Oga picking? Where, where she? Yes. Um, 
Can we speak with her? Okay, I have to call her first. Uh, thank you. Thank you so very much. All right, I'll tell you. Bye bye. Yes, how may I help you? Good day, madam. I'm Inspector Joshua from PRD. My colleagues and I want to ask you some questions. Questions? About what? The um, suspected people related to criminals around here. Criminals? Yes, criminals. Um. Do you by any chance see any unfamiliar face around here on Monday? No. We were told you had some visitors. Two male visitors precisely. And who told you that? Your good man. Well, those were just my friends. And they hardly come around here. Except for that Monday. Yes? Um. Do you by any chance see anybody go to that um, piece of land on Monday? What am I supposed to be here? A surveying camera or something? But don't be offended, madam. We just need to be sure. Well, I did not see anyone. All right. Thank you very much, madam. That will be all for now. OK? Oh, madam, one more thing. Your phone. I like it. I like you get one exactly like that. How much did you get it? I guess this is also part of this interrogation, right? No, no, not at all. I uh, just uh, like it for my personal effect. I see. Oh, well, um, I did not buy it. My boyfriend gave it to me. It's quite new. Yeah. It's, um, I guess it's just about two days old, two or three days old, yeah. And he bought it for about um, 130000 130000 Yes. That cheap. Your boyfriend said, yes. the one that came in here on Monday. I thought you said this was supposed to be Yes, madam. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, ma'am. What did you tell them? Uh, no. Something is wrong with your head. Idiot. thinking about this, I don't know how to tell you. You see, out of all the babes I've dated, um, he seems to be the best. And I really love you so much. Hey, but what about all those girls you've been dating? You see, oh, I'm... come on. You don't need all those now. Hey, <coughs> hey Miko. Eh? What's up? How you doing? Why are these pony now? Please, Ikina, we need to talk. Okay, okay. Let me discharge this girl, okay? I'm sorry, and um, you have to give me some time now. Let me talk to him, okay? I'll see you later. I'll meet you. No, please don't stay there. Come on, sit down. Have your seat now, eh? Why is it this time now? Tell me. Peggy called me a few minutes ago. And she's already suspicious on how you got with so early. Look, I don't have anything to tell anybody about the way I live my life, okay? It's my life, remember? Yes, it's your life. But whatever you do affects me. If the police finds out, it will also affect me. Don't you get? Come on, they can't find out now. They can't. Look, Peggy's already suspicious, okay? And for crying out loud, stop cheating on that girl. No. I mean, she deserves much more love and, and honesty. Did I hear you say love? <laughs> so who's going to give her the love? You. I've told you that girl deserves much more. Okay, stop playing with her. I beg you. Wait, let's talk about something else. Okay, did, did you find what was in the disc? Answer me. Yes, I did. Uh-huh. So? Well, it contains foreign account numbers of different individuals and each account is worth over a hundred million dollars. You don't see? Yes, 
and also included uh, passwords and also the formats one can use in claiming the money. Dang! Come on, Mike, we are rich. Can't you get it? We are rich. Can? Okay, give me, give me the discount. You want to enjoy the three hundred thousand with you, right? You want to eat the three hundred thousand dollars in your possession, right? Go ahead, have fun. Come on, Mike, Mike, please, please, don't do this to me now, eh? Okay, you, you want Peggy, right? Okay, you can have her. She's all yours, huh? Come on. Well, it's all right. You don't. You don't need to kneel down. It's okay. I'll let you in on it, okay? On the condition that you lay low and you start treating Peggy right. Is that all? Consider it done. Anyway, I'm on my way home. I'll see you later. All right. You have to come with me, eh? Oh, come on my way home. I'll check you out. Oh. Boys are telling me it's something in my feet. I'm dropped on a basket. Something tells me we are very close to our money. Yes, that cheese daughter and the boyfriend rings a bell. You're right, you know. The gate man said they hardly come around. And that they seem poor. Yeah, and think of it. That phone given to her as a present. I don't think any Jungle boy can afford that. Most definitely. Most definitely. We don't possess a meat to me to study me. We shut on ten by ten by ten. Boys are telling me it's something in my mind. Wait, 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 wait. Is that not the boy at the club? The one we brushed. That church rat. Oh, he now owns a car. That thief. Only. Guys, what are you waiting for? Let's go get him. Relax. Let's make sure he's our man first. Uh, Kaz, you go down. Find out when he bought this car. Huh? Okay, go to the neighbors. See what you can get from them. Yesterday, some three guys came to my house claiming to be policemen. Mm -hmm. What do they want? Mama's got 
I don't know. They only came to ask a few questions about that, Just that piece of land beside her house. What do they want to know about the land? They didn't say specifically, you know, they only asked if I saw some strange faces coming around that area. Specifically on Monday. <coughs> Last week, Monday. And what did you tell them? Nothing. I mean, I didn't see anyone, so... Well, what else did they ask about? It's like... They asked that gateman some few questions, okay? And he went ahead to tell them how then he pursued you and Mike out of the house on Monday. Can you imagine that? I mean, I really, really need to talk to Daddy about that guy. He really has to do something about him. Ike. Ike! Are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Forgive me, please. Um, just something I remember. Anyway, I want him. I want him never to discuss anything that has to do with our house with anyone, especially our private lives. Yes, I think that is okay because it's improper for him to have done that. Exactly. I'm sure that is going to tell him the same thing anyway. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. The mitzvah is not nice. No, it's no, it is beautiful. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. Or should I refresh your memory? I mean the money in the briefcase you dug out in a piece of land beside her house. Where is it? I, I kept it for you. <laughs> of course, yes, you kept it for us. You go around town spending our money. You even bought a clean car for yourself. How thoughtful of you. Where is the money or I will squeeze this lead into your chest? Please don't kill me. Where is it? It's over there. Over where? Check it. The disket is not here. What? So, where is the disket? I said, where is it? Or I'll blow your juju right now. Where is it? He's with my friend. What? I swear, he's, he's with my friend. Don't just play with me. Don't fuck with me. Where is it? He's with my friend. Okay, get her. Let's go. Get her! Get her! Get her! Go, 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 go. You first. Go! Go away! So I grabbed the money and I jumped out of the car. What? Okay, okay, what about Peggy? You think concern me with that one now? Look, I don't know and I guess she's still with them. My God. So you mean you are you are you let her go with those criminals? Shu? What do you say me to do? To stay there with her. Look. That's not my only chance, so we can just stay tell you now. And you don't expect me to stay there with those robbers. Do you want them to kill me just because of Peggy? Hey, hey, hey. This is trouble. This is, this is big trouble. We just have to save her. We just have to save her. Okay, let's return their properties to them. Never. Not on your life. Okay? Now listen to me. I'm not ready to trade this money or the disket to anybody. But Peggy is involved, don't you get it? So what? They could hurt her, they could kill her. I mean, you can't just stay here and not do anything. Better still, let me just call the police. Don't even try. Don't try, okay? Ikena. Where, where, where did you get that from? You are 
Something stupid. Get, get, get that thing off my face. Get it off now. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry I, I put the gun at you. But, but we can alert the police. It's like committing suicide. Don't you understand? It's, as, it's just like as, as we are dead already. So what do we do? I mean, we can't just stay here and not do anything. We can't just stay here and let those criminals take advantage of Peggy. Sit down! Shift, shift! It's a pity your, your boyfriend left you behind. He took our hard earned money with him. That bastard! He even took my nine men. My new boy! Damn! God punish and make a sin face. I will squeeze in Juju. Now listen. Do you have the idea what we are going to do to you? Do you? Now listen. Your freedom solely lies in the hands of your boyfriend. If only he will comply and give us back our money and the discount. If not, I am left with no option than to have our ways with you. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm innocent. Please. Shut up! Innocent. What innocent? Your boyfriend stole our money and bought your expensive gifts and claim you're innocent. Talk and make you look at you. I will blind your eye. Your boyfriend stole our money and our discount. That discount alone is worth 500,000 US dollars. I will not leave any stone unturned until we have them back! Now listen. Listen and listen good. Get your hands down. I hate to see pretty sisters like you waste away. But! I am left with no option to do that. You agree with me that eight hundred thousand dollars is no change. Yes. Fine. I, Kido, will kill yes. to have such money in my hands. Yes. 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 Now you can make the call to his friend. Yes. But uh, one more thing. Don't ever be naughty. Because it will quicken to your funeral. Do you get that? Yes, yes. Don't make the call. I've heard the news. So you know what you want? Um, please, please, I'm begging you. Please, please don't hurt her. Please, please. It depends on how you want to play the ball. Tell your friend to give us back our money and the discount. Or we'll mail the girl to him in pieces. Ah, but please, please, don't, don't, don't do that. Please. Hey, listen to me. I'm offering you the sum of one million naira for you to release that girl or nothing more. Ikenna! Offering me one million naira? Is it for the pains on, and the risk we took for the money? Our money! Look, this money you so-called, you so much claim is not even yours. 
Do you get me? It, it belongs to an innocent white man. You guys were so unfortunate to have lost the money to a lucky person like me. Oh, you think you are lucky? By the time we finish with you, by the time we finish with you, your mother, your father, your sister, I mean your generation will never be so lucky. <laughs> not see you feel too. Ah, I see not see. Not see the happen. Oh, you really think you are a tough guy? I promise you, you will be very, very sorry. Ha, not today. You don't feel too nothing. Eh? Nothing. Give this phone to Hello, hello, hello. Please, 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 please. please. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry for all that. Please. Yes. Now listen. I believe you are, you are cool and gentle. If you really want that girl back, and your life, give us back our money and our discount. Okay. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll try and talk to him about it, please. But don't hurt the girl, please, please. I'm begging you. I'll, I'll really try, you know. And uh, uh, hello, hello. What's wrong with you now? What's wrong with you? Are you crack or something? Ah, I could not talk to them like that when you know fully where they could help Peggy. Look, I don't even have time for all this your rubbish talk here. I'm begging out of town. You're building me. Look, my friend, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere until you get back out of there. What's the matter with you? I want you this time. I want you. You're not going anywhere. You want to go where? Come and go now. You're building. I think you're getting serious now. What, what has come over you? Hello, Commissioner. Yes, this is Chief Wakwe, your friend. Good. So, how are you? Oh, well, we thank God, we thank God. Yes, Commissioner, I have a little problem. Yes, my daughter has been missing for two days now. Yes. It's okay, it's okay. I've been expecting the boys. Okay. Oh, thank you very much, Commissioner. So what, what did they say? Uh, I've just called the commissioner and uh, he said he was sending his boys. I'm waiting for them now. Oh God. Mm, so, but I want to get to one place now and come back now. Oh, honey, let me go with you. No, 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 no. Come on, honey. Let's wait behind so they can entertain them. Uh, I'll, be, I'll soon be back. Just go, no problem. Eh? Oh, yes, I did. Have your seat. Inspector, I just received a radio message from the Commissioner of Police, and he has just informed me that Chief Owakwe's daughter is missing. What? He's asking us to start off an investigation immediately so that we can um, ascertain her whereabouts. And I am asking you, Inspector Sani, and your men to handle this case, all right? I promise, sir. As soon as you get up from this seat, I want you to visit Chief Owakwe right away. Go and find out everything about his daughter's whereabouts. The kind of places she visits, her friends, every single thing that you know will help you on this case. Okay? Chief Owakwe is that amazing. Sir, have you my sir? Chief, can you recall the last time you saw your daughter? Uh, well, that was by 8.30 on Friday when I was going to work. If I may ask, does she have any friend? When I mean friend, an intimate friend to be precise. Actually, Inspector Sunny, there's this young man she talks endlessly about. His name is Ikenna. He's a final year student in Unilag, where she schools. Ikina. Yes. A final year student in Unilag. If I may ask, do you know where he lives? 
is again out of No, she never told me. Can you recall the last time you saw her on that fateful day she got missing? <laughs> Um, the gate man said she left around 11.30 a.m. She didn't go with her car. She didn't even go with the driver. So the gate man knew where he was going to? I don't know. Although she told me she'll be visiting the, the family doctor. I, I don't know. I think the gate man should be in a better position to answer that. Where is the gate man? Yes. Yes. When did Peggy leave the house? It was around 11.30 in the morning. And where did she say she was going? Uh, she told me that she's going to see family doctor. Then from there, she will now go to her friend place. Which kind of friend? Is it a male or a female? He's, fe he's my friend. And now, let me ask, where was the driver? When she was going out, it's inside. So you are the driver? Yes, sir. Why didn't you take her to her destination? When I see Sebek, I know what I'll say, she will take taxi. What do you mean? Me, she no bother. So because of that, you let her go? You don't even care where she was going to as the driver? Sorry, sir. And when she won't go see one of her friends, now she know that I'm me carry What are you saying? So you know my own daughter has a boy she visits? And you never told me? Can you imagine that? Sorry, sir. Okay. Now she said, make I know, tell you if I know I'll lose my job. I see. You are fired. Yes. Now! Okay, please, sir. You are leaving my house. Please, sir. Please, sir. Okay, please, sir. Now, devil, Can you imagine this? Okay. You know what happen again, sir. Okay. Now, devil, okay. Please, sir. You know what will happen again. Please, sir. Okay, please, sir. Okay, please, sir. It's okay. Now listen. Sorry, sir. I'm going to do that under one condition. Okay, sir. If only you are ready to tell me what you know about the boyfriend. Are you ready to do that? Yes, sir. I don't care and go there once. So. Oh, so you know the place? Yes, I know the place. That is I, very I good. Still know the area. That is very good. Chief. Okay, sorry, sir. I think we are getting somewhere. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. That there's an improvement. Especially with this stupid driver. This driver. Sorry, sir. You're leaving, my Yeah. Our uh, chief will be leaving. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, officer. Thank you so much. Just keep me informed. Get out! Good of you, get out of the house. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm Inspector Sani from Iraji Command. And these are my colleagues. Yes, how may I help you? Um, first of all, can we come in? Sure. Yes, officers. How may we help you? Um, we came to see Ikena. Ikena is not living here. Are you living here? Yes. That you know Ikena Okoro? Yes. He's a friend of my son. And what about your son? I hope he's in. No, he's not around. He went out this morning with Ikena. So when is he coming back? That I'm not sure. He called this evening to say he won't be back until late. Uh, officers. If I may ask, why all these questions? I hope he has not done anything wrong. Of course not. It's just that their friend, Peggy, is missing. You know? So we just came to ask him some certain questions that may help us to know our whereabouts. I think that's all about it. I'm sorry to hear that, but you can see he's not around. Madam, you said your son just called. Yes. Meaning he has a phone. Yes, he does. Can you help us with his number so that we can call him? His number? Yeah. Zero. Officers, I am sorry. It's a new line. I can't recall it. Oh, uh, so what about uh, the little lady here? Me. 
No, I don't know his number. You don't know his number? Well, very well, madam. I think we'll be on our way. Thank you, you're welcome. All right. All right. Please, not the door. It seems your boyfriend doesn't cherish your life. He doesn't love you. Well, I am left with no option than to waste your life. Please, 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 don't, don't shoot me. My father can be. My father can be. Please don't shoot me, please, please. And you think your father is rich enough to pay us $800,000? I don't know what I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, he can pay for my bill. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear you say bill? God, I'm you. This is a police station, I did call bail. Cass, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She's just negotiating for her life. Who's that? Mike. What are you waiting for? Pick the phone. Hello? Hello? Peggy, Peggy, are, are you alright? Mike, please, please, they're ready to kill me if you don't give them the money, please, Mike. It's, it's, it's okay, eh? Just. Peggy, Peggy just, just, just take it easy, alright? Take it easy. Mike, why is he cannot do this to me now? Why? I thought you loved me. Please, Mike, try and get me out of here. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Hey, Peggy, it's okay. It's all right. Eh? I'll do everything within my powers to get you out, okay? Please, I promise. All right? Just hang in there. Give me that phone. Hello? Yes. You heard the poor girl. Her time is running out. If you don't bring back the money and the discard, I will kill her. Wait, 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 please, please, uh, just, just give me 24 hours, uh, 24 hours, and, and I'll get the discards and your money to you, please, please, don't, don't hurt her, please. All right, 24 hours and nothing more. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Chief, we found the place. What? <laughs> yeah, found the place. But the boy wasn't at home. But we were told that he left with his friend Nikena to somewhere else. Did they tell you where? No, they didn't. And then go ahead, arrest all of them, detain them until they start talking. That's a good idea, Chief. But not so fast. We have to be sure that these people, they are in connection of their missing daughter. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to hear that. Just Hello? That is me, Peggy. Peggy! Peggy. Where are you? Where are you? Daddy, some men kidnapped me. They said they would not kill me. If I don't get money for them. Money? <laughs> Hello, sir. Chief, you listen attentively. Your daughter's life is safe in our custody, at least for now. Yes, like she said, we need some money. Money? Uh, listen, my friend, about how much are we talking about? How does $800,000 sound? I bet your heart must be racing by now. Listen, my friend, where do you think I can get such money? I don't have it. Okay. Ask your daughter's boyfriend. He can give you the money. What are you talking about? He stole $300,000 from us and the discount worth half a million. And we want them back. Failing to have them, the daughter's life is in jeopardy. <laughs> uh, listen, my friend, I don't know any of my daughter's boyfriend. I don't even allow her. I don't, I don't, I don't allow her. Chief, I know you've never. 
Remember? The guys you wanted to shoot some few days ago. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Uh, what exactly do you want from me? Good. Now, Chief, I want you to pull strings and have the guy release my diskette and my money. And I want you to deliver 5 million Lyra to a place where I will tell you. Okay. Uh, what if I don't get them to return your money and your discount? What happens to my daughter? Then I'm sorry. We'll have to mail your, your daughter in pieces to you. <laughs> All the 5 million. You have just 24 hours to deliver it. Uh, 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 it's okay. Uh, gentlemen, see, I don't keep money at home. It will take some days. It will take me five days. Chief, I'm giving you three days to deliver the money and the discount, or else your daughter will die. <laughs> Is <laughs> okay? I'll do. I'll do my. I'll do my. Hello, 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 hello. What did they say? What did they say, Chief? My daughter. What did they say? Oh my God! Tell me. Is she alright? Is she alright? Oh, Sammy! Oh, Sammy! You did what? Yeah, I negotiated with them and we just have to give them back their properties. Look, it's not the properties, not anymore. What has come over you? If I didn't know you any better, I would say you're on drugs. You can say whatever you like, but I'm not parting with the discount or the money, okay? Now give me the discount. I can see you're losing your mind. You want me to give you the discount with this newfound attitude of yours, or will I call it greed? Not even minding whoever gets hurt. Come and collect it now, I'm not giving you. Give me the discount now. Come and collect it. Give me the Give me Hello? So, how far were the money and the discount? Uh, my, myself and Ike now, we, we are resolving on it right now. How long will it take you? Listen, don't play with me or I'll kill the girl. Uh, please, 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 please don't do that. Please, please. I, I'll get back to you as soon as I lay my hands on the money. Eh? You better do. Yes, please don't hurt her. Please, I beg you, please. Th th thank you very much. I'm Kaleta. What has come over you now? Uh, this is the man. I see you go crazy. You've lost your mind. See whatever you want to see. Tell me, please. Nothing now. Is everything okay? Mike, are you sure? I'm sure now. I... What are these questions? So, what is me when I hear this man to me? Miss Men? Yes. They are suffering, came, and they mentioned one, one peg. Mike, I'm not comfortable with their look. I'm afraid. There's nothing. I'm as confused as you are too. No. Mike, are you seeing the truth? There's nothing. There's nothing. I have no problems with nobody. Well, um, you must be hungry now. Let me get you some food. Okay. <laughs>
It's a song back. He was, he, he came once a few minutes ago, and then uh, he just went out. Is that so? Yes. And he didn't tell you that he was going out? No, he didn't say something like that. Yeah, very well, madam. Uh, I think we'll be leaving now. Let's go. Sir, something just came up. What is that? Those kidnappers, they are demanding for a ransom of 5 million naira. What? 5 million naira. And the most funny part of it is that they are demanding that she should produce Peggy's boyfriend. Peggy's boyfriend? Come on. What has Peggy's boyfriend got to do with all this? <laughs> According to them, he made away with their money. $300,000 and a diskette worth $500,000 as a reward. This is becoming very, very interesting. Is it what I'm thinking? Yes. The robbery incident. Concerning the white man, Mr. Roland Price. Roland Price? Exactly, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Sir, yes. that money and the discount in question is that of Mr. Roland Price. And I believe that this is the same group of robbers that smashed that briefcase mm -hmm. from that white man. But somehow, some smart ones among them made away with the money. And there lies the problem. Yes, this is a very, very big problem because we do not have evidence on that. But let me ask you a question. Did the kidnappers specifically mention he came now, Okoro, together with his friend, um, Michael. Oh, Michael. Yes, they did. Mm. But this were the two that made away with the money. <laughs> Goodness. And they felt the only way to get to Ikena was by kidnapping his girlfriend, Peggy, right? <laughs> That's the best thing they thought they could do. This is becoming very, very interesting. Now, what about the boyfriend? Um, have you been able to locate him? Um, actually, we went to his house. And he wasn't around. But the mother told us that uh, he left a few minutes before we came. Shit. But sir, we found an evidence. A note. Where is it? Just a minute. You mean he actually addressed this to his mother? Yes. As you can see. No, no, look at the paragraph three here. You mm -hmm. can see. I want to justify Shifuwaku's daughter. Peggy. Look at this. Peggy is He's innocent not sent. about everything. So you know what that means? Uh, wonders will never end. And so, All right. they are on their own now. I don't think so. Why? Those boys are very, very intelligent. I'm sure they are locking somewhere just hiding around town because they know for sure that we would have stationed all our men at the airports and at the borders so they will not go anywhere near there. Turn this down. So, sir, what you are trying to say is that those criminals are still in this town? Of course. They are still very much in this town, like you and I. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick 11 of your best boys. I want you to search every hotel and guest house in this town. Search every nook and cranny of this town. We will have them arrested. Sir, I'll be my way, sir. All right. Inspector, one more thing. I want you to permanently station a man at his mother's place. These people, they always have a way of coming back home to see their mothers, all right? And as soon as he comes around, we'll pick him up. That's a good idea, sir. Very good. So I'll be on my way, sir. Yes. We'll keep this as an evidence. I wish you good luck.
No, 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 stop, 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 stop it, please, just stop it, just stop it. Don't. Don't now, please, Look, I tell you, don't. Stop. All I want is just a round before my friends come back. And I promise they won't no, kill no, you. No, please, no, don't, don't. I don't. beg you, no. And this girl, you go jump on top of her as, as if as if your hook he goes. But she started it. She was looking at me. So bloody what? Damn. Hello. Do you have it? No. I I I, I mean yes. I have the diskette with me right now. Why don't we just trade for that? Are you kidding me? Just the disc? You can do better than that. I want the disc and the money. So, get the money. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. It's just that Ikena is not ready to part with the money. That greedy boy. I know he doesn't care about the girl. Since you care for the girl, why not just go and get the discount and the money? Okay, okay. Why, why don't you guys go, come and meet me at the hotel where Ikena is lodged? He, yes. No, number 30, Bankole Street, Zeno Hotel, Suite 7. Yes, yes, 30 minutes time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I demand you, you give me back that money because uh, uh, I found it first of all. And I took it. Okay? Look, stop preaching to me on releasing those money to those criminals. It's not there. Neither is it yours. What has come over you? If not for anything but for Peggy's sake. I mean that girl is obviously dying and she doesn't deserve this treatment you're giving her right now. Her Peggy! Look, nothing on earth will make me release this money to anybody. Okay? Not even my mother. I thought you cared about her. I thought you loved her. Love? Did I hear you say love? Of course I like her, but not when it comes to this issue of money, okay? Anyway, I, 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 I called them and I told them to meet us here for, for the money and the discount. You did what? I, I think I'm doing what's best for Peggy. What has come over you? I've said my own, I'm doing what's best for Peggy. You think they will spare us alive if they meet us here? Look, I'm getting out of here now. You're, you're not going anywhere until they come here and meet both of us. Oh, I see. And who is going to stop me? Tell me. You?
came out of the lost way. Way. Shit! <laughs> Damn! Woo! Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Where is your son? My son is not alive. Who are you doing? Your worst nightmare. Stop the most talk with us! Daughter's time is up. Please, you can't do this to me. Her boyfriend played with us. I'm afraid she has to pay for it. Don't do this to me. Yes, you see, I am doing whatever that is my power to make sure that you get your money and your discount. Listen, you have just one hour to give us the five million naira we asked for. No. But you can't do that. What? That's not what they agreed earlier. <laughs> Go and drop it at 21 Road Junction, first stack. Felin, consider your daughter dead. Hello? 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 Chief, what do they want? What do they want? Five million naira in one hour or she's dead. Hey, my God. Oh. My God, Chief, my daughter. My only child, Chief, call the police, call the commissioner. You can't do that. You can't do that. If you do that, they'll kill her immediately. <laughs> my dear, what do we, we just do? have to go and look for the money. We have to pay. Okay, let's pay. I have some money. Do you have some? I have money. Please go for it. I have money. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Chief. Did you get the money? Yes. We got it. Okay. Now, can I have my daughter? Not so fast, Chief. Your daughter remains with us. How about you promise that you will release her as soon as you get her answer? I promised nothing. I let your daughter leave based on the five million naira you dropped. If not that, she's long gone. Now listen. I want you to get those thieves. Bring back my diskette and my dollars. You have just three days. Or consider your daughter dead. Hello? 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 What is happening? Yes, I got it, but it was very unpleasant. Oh, really? That shows you that no one messes up with me. But why my mother and my innocent sister? I only wanted peace to pray. Peace? You said peace and you double-crossed me. No, I didn't. Keep that shot. Don't give me that crap. Your friend shot at us, and you wanted us dead. No, I didn't. You misunderstand everything. No, I didn't. You got what you asked for. Where is my money and my discount? You don't have it. You don't what? Now listen. I want that money and the discount, or she dies. I'll now come after you. Now you listen to me, you freak. Get your money, okay? Get your properties. But you don't dare, don't even dare to touch pain. Wow! <laughs> You're not getting tough? Huh? Okay. Now listen to this. <coughs> please, 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 my give me what they want. Please, they don't want to die. Give me what you want. Hello? <laughs> Did you hear that? Lover boy, what can you do? Are you going to hit me through the phone piece? Now listen to me. I want the money and the discount, or she dies. Did you hear that? Nonsense. Oh, why did I have to choose? Did I have to lose all in this game? The man whose picture appears on your screen has been declared wanted by the police. His name is Mr. Mike Okwe of number 19 Okoro Street, Ekate. Mr. Mike is suspected to be one of the armed robbers who robbed the white businessman, Mr. Roland Price, the sum of $300,000 and a disket containing vital information. Mr. Mike Okwe is armed and highly dangerous to our society, which brings the police in making every effort to make sure Mr. Mike is brought to justice. And the sum of 500,000 Naira has been declared by the police as a reward to any person who has any information or knows his hideout. Yes, I have your suspect, Mr. Michael Quinn, in my restaurant. Yes, Tony's restaurant and the bar. 45 by the Moses Street, Agoda. Yes, please be fast. Yes. I 
Hadde jeg nødvendt det var det prinsen. I'm sorry, slip my memory. Here. Sorry, I'll go now if you keep the chain, sir. Must follow your chain. I said keep the chain, okay? I'll go now if you keep the chain, sir. What's the meaning of okay. this? No. Why are you blocking me? You know, hear the news. Now you police won't give anybody 500,000 if he sees you. So you know if you go until police people are alive. Did you just say that to me? It was my friend who mistakenly shot me. Your friend I'm robber, eh? No, no, he's not an robber. He was a policeman. No, no, he's, he's a student. A student, though. Oh, student. Oh, student arm robber. No, 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 no. No, no, he's, he's not an arm robber. Then how come my daughter had her hand now? Sir, like I told you before, it was we only found the money where it was buried. We weren't the arm robbers who buried it. Sir. Oh, oh, where, 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 where? The money? Where do you keep it? And the disc? Sir, is with my friend Ikenna. Okay, your friend Amroba. No, Amroba is my friend, my friend. Hey, shut up there, your Amroba friend. No, my friend Ikenna. Shut up! It's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much. You can leave us now. Okay? Okay. okay. I swear to God, I'm not an Amroba. Well, well. Mr. Mike. Sir. Are you ready to cooperate with me? I, I swear to God, I swear. I love you with everything. My friend, you came now. Mike. Sir. I want you to stop being greedy. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. All I'm asking is half of that money and we will share the reward that comes from the discount equally nobody will know about it 
not even my superior. Sir, I told you. My now listen. Stop all this pretense. I know you have it. And you know it. All I'm asking is half my own shit. You will understand what I'm saying. Look, for 15 years now. to this great country but in return what do I get without envelope good names without good living congratulations that comes with no reward will do me a whole lot of good. I know, but, but what happens to me? I, I've already been tagged once. <laughs> Mike, as I earlier told you, don't be afraid. Just leave that to me. I will personally clean out your file. At most, you leave this country and there will be no trust of him anywhere. dollars it will do me a whole lot of good Mike listen to me this is my chance are you listening to me Kingsley, you go with him. Kingsley will go with you and help you find Ikela, your friend, who is keeping that money. Why I go back to the station that you just escaped, killing two of my men. Oh, but, I did, but I didn't kill anybody now. I didn't kill anybody. Of course you did. That is the only way my superiors believe me. And that is the thing. I want that money. So that Kingsley will go with you just to secure your safety and not that money. Okay. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to fuck me up. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Okay.
stupid bastard! Oh. Look at him! Hugging the money even till he died! This is money. Now that we have the money, why don't we just share it so I can have my own split? Don't even think about it! I said don't think about it! Keep in your pot! Keep in your share of this money! Don't think about it. Because even my superiors, Inspector Sani, you could not smell one dollar out of here. Tomorrow, I am out of the country. And that is all. Such a greedy bastard. You greedy rat. Now, say your last prayer. You have to die. This is the DPS office. Area J. Hello. I know you don't know me. But I just want to tell you that some of your men are not diligent to service. Who are you? What do you want? Meet me at kilometer 16, Badagri Expressway. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me the address again. Meet me at kilometer 16, Badagri Expressway. Turn right. Then you know about the missing $300,000 and the discount. This is just to prove to you that there are still good people in this country.
And where is the money? It's safe with some friends. What are you talking about? What friend? There's no need to panic, okay? There's no need to worry. All I just need to do is just call them and they'll get the money to us. And why have you not called them? What are you waiting for? Can I use your phone? For what? To call them, of course. And make sure it's your prayer call and not something negative. Hello? Yes, who's this? It's Mike. Wow, just in time to hear your girlfriend speak to them. Have you got my cargo? Because I've got yours. You do? So, where's the address? Yes? Yes? Okay then. And what did they say? They said they'll call us as soon as they get there. No games. Now enter the car. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Even ought to have called. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. I don't forget this deal I've made an honest officer to become a societal enemy overnight. Are you listening? It's time for calling. It's calling. It's a strange number. I think it's those parasites you call their friend. Now ask them to tell you something good. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, I, I have it. Do, do you have my cargo? No games. Alright. Okay. And what is he saying? They said it's here. I think somewhere around that corner. Where are you pointing? That corner, sir. Now, lead the way. Share? Not so fast, Mike. I 
here a student. We are too young for it. But but we agreed to to split the money 50-50. Oh really? 50-50? Mike, I hope you are not mistaking me to be a saint. I'm sorry, Mike. Hey, where do you think you're going with that money? Okay. Who are these guys? And what are they doing here? Um, these are the robbers who stole the money from the white man. They, they want their money back. So, Michael! You think you can just double cross us, right? Stole him. 